tutorial shows how to create an XSD with Liquid XML Studio, the developer edition. From the toolbar, select New and XSD Schema. The result is a two pane window, the top pane showing a graphical representation of the XSD, and the lower pane showing the generated code. I'll focus on Design View for now. To find a single top level element, I'll call it Car Rental Desks. And the top level element is going to be a sequence of car rental desk elements. Now there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts available in uh, XML Studio. I'm going to use Control Shift Q to define another sequence and I'll call Control Shift E twice to define a airport and an inventory element. With an inventory, I'll do Control Shift Q again, which will be a sequence of car elements. For the airport, I'll also define an attribute. The attribute's called name. And I'll assign it the simple type of string. For the car type, I'm going to define a global car type. I select the schema, root, and press complex type. And I'll call this car type. Now car type itself is a sequence, and I'll use my keyboard shortcut Control Shift E to quickly create three elements. They are make, model, and year. All their type string. I can type it out. And in the same way I assign the, the string types, I assign the complex type as well over here. Now save it. Now from the schema root I'll define a target namespace. I'm going to use this to define a namespace within the source as well. That's so that my global type can be used in the car element. I highly recommend you cut and paste that to avoid uh, typos. And I'll apply that TNS over here. And go back to the design view. Now this is ready for distribution to your other systems. You can also generate some sample XML to help with their processing. Uh, TNS isn't really appropriate for a uh, an XML document, so I'll change it to Car Rental Desk. And here's my XML. So in about three minutes, created a quick XML. Uh, not necessarily simple. There was a complex type, but very responsive application and very quick way to author your XSD without a lot of errors. Thank <laughs> you.